Today I'm going to detour off my regular project to do something for the holidays. I want to do something kind of Christmassy, but since I'm kind of creatively challenged, I thought I'd talk to a friend of mine who has horses and he's always doing kind of horseshoe art. So he gave me a big bucket of these horseshoes and he said, why don't you do something kind of like a Christmas tree? So that's what I'm gonna try and do. I've picked through the bucket and got about eight or nine of them that are about the same size and then one bigger one that I'm going to use for the base. They're not in great shape, they got some rust on it, so I'm going to spend a little time wire brushing them and then throwing them in a bucket with some vinegar overnight and that should clean these things up pretty good. All right, look at that bucket of nastiness. And that's just letting it sit overnight. We'll get those things pulled out of there and rinsed off real good. And then we can start cutting them to the shapes that we need. Now that I got my horseshoes all cleaned up, I'm gonna take four or five of them and I'm gonna cut them right in half. That's gonna allow me to kind of set them out on my table in the pattern that I'm looking for. Most likely, I'm still gonna to have to make some additional trim cuts, but this will at least get me started. Cutting these is a simple job for a plasma cutter, but you could also use a bandsaw, reciprocating saw, or even an air cutoff wheel. Make sure you grind and deburr your sharp edges. So this is kind of what I had in mind. I've got all my pieces kind of set here on the table in kind of the shape that I want. Uh, some of them are overlapping each other, which I'm going to have to make in some trim cuts on those. Uh, same with this piece here, part of the base. I'm going to have to kind of cut that at a goofy angle too. I'm still on the fence on how I want to make the stand, the very base part of it though. I think I might make kind of like a three-legged stand. Or possibly use this larger one that I thought I'd use in, in the beginning. Kind of use that, maybe with just a straight rod or something down to this. So next step is, is just going to be make my marks for my trim cuts and I'm going to drill holes on the ends of each one of these too because I do want to hang ornaments off the sides. Alright as always make sure you had to burr your holes on the backs. I got everything laid out and I'm going to start tacking it together. I got my machine auto set for the 8th inch setting. Another thing you want to note too is these horseshoes obviously aren't made from the highest grade steel. If you want the best welds, you're going to want to grind the mill scale off these things, which I did at all the weld joints. So what I'm going to do now is just basically tack it all together. Just spot stitching these because it'll keep some of the heat out of it. There we go. All right, I think I figured out what I want to do for the base. It's actually going to be a combination of both ideas. But I'm going to use two of these legs, weld them together to the bottom of the tree, and then I'll weld that to the horseshoe base.
There. Now just spray paint it green and dig up some ornaments. All right, this is it. I ended up using six horseshoes, some emerald green and textured white paint to complete this project. We hope you all have a safe and happy holidays, and for more cool projects, check out MillerWelds.com.